Footage released by the Russian investigative committee suggests the sheer volume of the spillage overwhelmed the concrete levees intended to contain minor leaks. Tens of thousands of tons of diesel escaped into the surrounding area. It was two days before the regional government raised the alarm to Moscow and in a televised video conference a visibly angry President Putin berated them for the inadequacy of their response, even questioning whether the governor had taken leave of his senses. What's going to be done? You're the governor. Are we going to learn about emergency situations through social media now? Have you lost your mind over there? Norilsk is home to the world's largest producer of nickel and is already one of the most notoriously polluted places on earth. The nickel factory emitted nearly 2 million tonnes of sulphur dioxide into the atmosphere in 2018, three times more than the second worst emitter. Now the land and water are also environmentally impacted. This incident has dumped more than 20,000 tonnes of diesel and lubricants into the surrounding river system and into the subsoil. It will take decades to clear up because we're talking about cleaning up the surface of the water, pumping out the fuel, pumping out the polluted water as far as possible and cleaning up the polluted ground. The terrain is subarctic and swampy at this time of year and specialist vehicles are needed to get around. Pumping and inflatable booms are trying to limit the damage, but access and extraction are a major problem. It's a secluded area. There's no transportation access by road or railroad. Again, there's no way to bring in a large number of boats with heavy tanks to pump the oil into. That's the difficulty. An investigation into why this specific tank ruptured is underway. But a company statement has expressed concerns for facilities which are built in areas where the melting permafrost is causing the soil to sink. And that raises a much wider question for industrial safety across the whole Arctic. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera.